This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and uh, today I'm going to address something uh, that's been bothering me for a while, uh, which is this quote unquote cold air intake. Um, yes, I know for a fact it's not a true air intake uh, or a true cold air intake, um, but what I'm going to do is a modification to actually bring cold air to the filter in here, and uh, that should be enough to sufficiently. Uh, you know get the cold air into the engine so even though this does have a gasket around it and you can see it does partially seal up on the um, the heat the heat shield here um, it's still getting warm air into it now the intake I've checked that before it does run fairly cold uh, but the big test will be getting in colder outside air into the engine so that's what I'm gonna focus on today Okay, so we're doing a little test here. Uh, as you can see, the outside air temperature is 64 degrees. Um, my, <clears throat> my intake air temperature is 102. So that is unmodified, and that is just sitting here in a parking lot. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the car down the road, and I'm going to go 40 miles per hour. That, that's going to be my, my test parameter. 40 miles per hour, I'm going to look at what the external temperature is and what my intake temperature is. And rem remember, this is before any modifications. So we're at 40 miles per hour. It's 64 degrees ambient outside temperature. And we are at 77 degrees. So just another interesting note, uh, I'm on the highway and uh, 64 degrees and it's 64 degrees uh, in the intake so the uh, the AFE snorkel or whatever you want to call it quote unquote cold air is actually doing its job um, at speed but not at 40 miles per hour uh, but anyways we'll, we'll, we'll see what kind of difference everything makes as far as getting cooler air uh, into this and the other thing too, uh, the outside air temperature may have an effect on this as well. I have a theory that in hotter weather, obviously you're going to get a lot of lot more heat under the hood too. So uh, this is an interesting experiment. And, uh, here's a sample of some brake duct hose um, that I'm going to use. It's three inch. Uh, it's flexible, all that good stuff. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get. A length of this into this airbox area and then I'm going to route that down to the vent somewhere and uh, that way I can pick up some cool air. Alright so I just loosened up the air filter. I'm going to take that off just to give myself a little bit more room here and now I have plenty so of room. The one place I have to uh, snake in this tube is actually if I cut along here near the air compressor and what I'll do is I'll run the tube through there down into uh, where I need to run it and uh, then I'm going to seal around this so no water gets into the actual compressor. All right, and This is just a uh, quick test fit and uh, I can clean everything up but uh, it's in there pretty securely it just slips right into the airbox area and uh, that's going to allow cool air into this area from the front bumper. All right, so the piece I've been waiting for for the uh, cold air finally arrived. Uh, I am going to have to modify this by taking this lip off of it. That way it'll sit flush down into the uh, the front of the bumper. Uh, but it features a uh, three inch port uh, that I can slip that brake duct um, cooling hose on and then just put a clamp on it. So right now I'm just going to trim this edge off and uh, then we'll be good to go. Okay, so that has been uh, modified. I'm just going to clean that up with a uh, 
like a box cutter or something like that just to get the uh, shavings off. All right, so we got this all cleaned up. It's good enough for the, uh, the town car. Uh, so at this point, what I'm going to do is uh, attach the, uh, the brake duct to, the, uh, to this funnel. And then also I'm going to install the stainless steel uh, clamp to hold it on there. So let's get that all together. And so the clamp's attached now, and this is ready to go in the town car. Unfortunately, it's raining right now, uh, so I'll have to wait until the ground dries. But uh, we'll be getting this in and installed. All right, so I ran the, uh, the vent to the, uh, the front grill, and I got this extra tubing here, which I'm going to run up into the engine compartment uh, and uh, the vent is right there uh, right below the uh, the ALP head so that'll take in some air so let's finish uh, just running this line and uh, we'll take it from there okay so I got the uh, the duct coming up near the air filter and uh, you can see it runs up into there, so we're good. Right. So it's not a true ram air setup since this isn't sealed off, but in the future I could make some sort of box to do that. But uh, now at least cold air is being forced into this area. Uh, so I'm gonna do the same test, 40 miles per hour, highway speeds, and uh, you know I'm gonna take a look and just see if uh, there's any improvement. So just like our previous test, I'm gonna be taking along the, uh, the Bosch uh, scan tool and uh, what I'm going to do is let it get up to temperature. We'll get some baseline readings 40 miles per hour and then we're going to do a highway run. All right, so we got the town car up to temperature and we're just sitting idle here. Um, outside ambient air temperature 55 degrees and we have 70 at the intake with this mod. Okay, so we are at 40 miles per hour. And again, outside ambient air temperature, 55 degrees. And we are at 57, so there's definitely an improvement at 40 miles per hour. We're on the highway. It's 58 degrees outside air temperature. And believe it or not, on the intake, I'm getting 55 degrees. And here's the difference in the intake air temperature versus ambient air outside. So we tested this three different ways at idle, 40 miles per hour, and on the highway. So that is the temperature difference that you can see in Fahrenheit. Uh, with the mod, you can see it significantly cooler. So this definitely made an improvement. Well, that actually worked out really well and I'm pretty psyched with the results. Uh, if you are looking to, uh, to do this yourself, uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Also, in the uh, description below, I'm going to leave a link for the, uh, the air duct and the, uh, also the uh, cone for that. That way you guys can uh, get that. And uh, also, uh, that's actually linked to my Amazon store, which is uh, Amazon.com slash shop slash car guys New England. And uh, that really helps out, especially during this uh, entire COVID-19 pandemic. As always, we have a huge Panther platform playlist, which you guys can go check out. Uh, different videos on my uh, Lincoln Town Car. Um, but also, if you enjoyed this, be sure to give the video a like. Uh, if you have questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.